How's it going guys? I'm here with Fubar Duck. If you guys watched MLG Columbus, you will remember this face because he's actually there casting for King of Fighters. We're out here though at CEO Orlando, Florida 2012. Thoughts about the event? Uh, it was an excellent event. It's de definitely the best event I've been to this year as far as venue size, organization, everything ran on time. Jabali really out outdid himself this year. Speaking of outdoing himself, what did you think? Did you ever think in a million years you'd ever see a gaming event that took place where the matches took place in a wrestling ring? Uh, actually, I've seen that several years. They did it at Super Battle Opera in Japan every year up until just a couple of years ago. Now, King of Fighters, there was a lot of representation here. What did you think about the actual the caliber of the player that showed up to CEO? Uh, well, all the killers showed up for King of Fighters, all the guys from SoCal, you know, Bala, Romance. Uh, no Reynald, which is a little disappointing. And I'm trying to think if anyone else is missing. It seems like NorCal didn't really show up in full force. But, you know, we had the main killers here, and they did their job. I mean, Bala and Romance, of course. Um, <laughs> not really much you can say about those guys. And uh, Mago, of course, had a very impressive showing as well, defeating Romance the first time. And it was sort of like an, a repeat of, of MLG Anaheim because, you know, again, the Japanese player beat Romance and then... The run back happened and romance adjusted. So now, obviously, we had we've had a lot of good events coming up this year into the road to Evo. Do you have maybe any kind of predictions or insight into actual Evo 2012? Evo 2012, it's super unpredictable, especially Street Fighter 4. In regards to Marvel, I definitely feel that Justin Wong, Filipino champ, Chris G, I'll have big edges right now. Um, of course, Dominion and PR Rog, these other players, you can expect to see them in top eight probably as well. Um, another thing I'm personally looking forward to is I think the Japanese are going to make a very good showing in Marvel 3 this year at EVO. Uh, they're sending six dedicated Marvel players, like only Marvel players, not like Momochi that's like a multi, you know, a multiplayer gamer. Six Japanese Ultimate Marvel players are all coming just for EVO. And it's going to be pretty much all of their first time here. So I'm really curious to see what kind of damage they can do. And among the guys coming, I think at least two or three of them can, are strong enough to make top eight. So um, I know not everyone has seen much of them, but I've definitely seen a lot of it firsthand. And it is something to watch out for. I mean, the same thing happened with Kusoro with, you know, with final rounds. And it's you know, something everyone needs to be watching out for. As always, very insightful. Thank you for taking the time to talk to us. Absolutely. Any last shout outs or anything? We're here at the end of the event. Uh, shout outs to everyone in Texas and Austin, um, all the arcade UFO regulars. And yeah, we'll, uh, I'll be around a lot. I'll be at Evolution. And I'm also going to be assisting with the official Capcom tournament in Austin at the end of July. So once again, thank you very much. You bet. Oh, <laughs> oh,